This is a grim anniversary for the three American hikers being held in an Iranian prison. They've been there now 200 days. They were in the northern part of Iraq back in July when they accidentally crossed the border. Today, their moms are back on the early show, issuing a direct appeal to Iranian President Ahmadinejad. Nora Shord, Cindy Hickey, Laura Fatal join us for an exclusive interview. Welcome back. Thank you. I was Thank hoping you. that when you came back, we would have a, a better outcome, and I, I'm sure you were as well. When you were here in September, President Ahmadinejad had just said that he would seek leniency, he would expedite this. You came back in October, a Swiss diplomat had just seen your children, reported that they were fine. But here we are four months later, no word from them, and they're still being held. Are you as optimistic today as you were then, Nora? Uh, oh, absolutely not. And it, it's been 200 days. Today is 200 days. Right. And it's like 200 days. We have not heard anything from them in three months. This, we have, the right. Swiss has not been able to go in. Our lawyer that we hired has not been able to go in. We don't really know how these kids are doing now. We're really quite fearful about how they are. So Cindy, are you desperate? Very desperate. We're concerned. We don't know where they are. We don't know how they are. No independent eyes have seen them. Our lawyer who we hired 50, year, 50 days ago has not made contact with them. It's just, you know, overwhelming. We don't know if they're being fed. We don't know physically if they're okay. We don't know anything anymore. It's, it, can, can you imagine not knowing, knowing your, your child is in prison and not knowing how they are? No. There's no validation. I can't imagine. Laura, so what is your new strategy? You're drafting this letter to the president, hoping what? And, well, we drafted the letter to President Ahmadinejad, but we also applied for visas. On January 6th, we applied for visas to go to Iran. And we, this is, we want to see our children. This will be our confirmation that they're healthy, they're well. We're nervous about their eating. We're nervous about their sleeping. We're nervous where they are. We want to know something. We have hired a lawyer, as Cindy has said, mm -hmm. and the lawyer on December 27th, we hired a lawyer, and we st he hasn't been able to come in. The Swiss embassy and the Swiss ambassador, our protecting agency in Iran, has not been able to come in. We want to see our children. So we have those visas, the applications in, we're eager to go. So uh, what, are you optimistic that that will work, Nora? Well, we think, you know, we trust that <clears throat> we'll, we'll be able to talk to, talk to the president about our children. Uh, we know who our children are. Uh, we're hoping that we can sit down with him and explain to him what this is all about, you know, and how unnecessary it is. All right. Please mm -hmm. do keep us posted. We'd like to get to the web, people to the website, freethehikers.org, too. Right. Thank you so much.